My name is Sebastian Hahn. I want to show you in a very, very short uh, version of our small demo videos uh, how we uh, integrate into ServiceNow and how we get, can get the automation done for the uh, first response automation and the whole workflow of a troubleshooting case. So very quick walkthrough. So what, what you see here is on, on the top is our uh, response workflow with the automation for ServiceNow. So what we do is somebody is creating a ticket, so we get a first response automation. The, the, uh, this is where we automatically collect information. We move over to first en engineer automation. So the engi first engineer is taken over, working on the ticket, escalating to some people, remediation, and then the post -mod modem and analysis. And I will show you how those points align to the, to the steps and the service now ticket and how it looks like. So if you take a uh, look at this is now ticket, we we'll see we put in some information here. We have Cisco Telepresence as, as a destination device because this is service affected. So we have some configuration item there. The configuration item is the item uh, which has uh, a huge impact on the traffic flow because it's a rendezvous point for multicast. Uh, we have a source IP address. It's the UPN user's IP address. We have an issue, video slow and description. This is also a trigger we use uh, to automate things. Uh, this is used for the uh, automatic runbook to collect automatically collect the information from the device. So if you go down, when we take a look at the several steps we have in here, uh, those two, those are directly aligned to the first response automation. So as soon as the trigger is created, those two uh, sections are automatically created. The first one is uh, in uh, our crime scene map. So we create with information from the ticket, we create a, uh, an A to B path where the engineer is able to collect information. He's directly working in NetBrain, so he can use and leverage the uh, data views of, of, of NetBrain. And the second one, uh, uh, which is automatically created, is a so-called well-known problem map. So this is a, a map created out of a former incident we had and the former issue we had showing information about the issue with, with some notes and um, the device which was affected. The interesting thing is that this one, uh, the well-known problem map, is triggered by the configuration items. This directly aligns to the first automation response. This is all information directly provided automatically to the first level engineer. So it can work when he has to escalate, going to the next step. So the uh, second level engineer can work on it. He's working on the same maps, whatever, jumping into NetBrain, working on the stuff and so on, doing some more troubleshooting in here, uh, making his notes, putting some more information on it, documenting everything in the ticket at all. Um, and providing the maps back into, into the ServiceNow ticket for documentation purpose that everybody knows what's going on. Um, as soon as, as he uh, figured out what happened there, he's able to work on the problem, creating a change in NetBrain, providing the change to the devices, um, doing his notes again for documentation, uh, writing down what he has done, uh, providing the change and fixing the problem. And right, at, this uh, is, is going to be remediation automation. And at the end, what he wants to do is we go on to the postmortem. So we narrow down the information uh, just to the device uh, needed, put in some more information for the future and uh, save it in NetBrain and provide it to the service now. So um, as soon in the future as a ticket is created and this device shows up on the maps and it, or as part of the configuration item, it shows up as a new well-known problem in the ticket automatically when we go better, but to do better next time in the first response automation, and then we provide more information for the first level engineer. So I hope I gave you a very good and very brief um, overview about what we're doing in the response workflow with automation in NetBrain. I'll see you next time. I hope you liked it. Thanks.